keeping COVID at bay and calming the fears of worried parents. Chicago Public Schools says it's strengthening its response to COVID-19. This morning, the district outlined its new safety measures. CBS 2's Mugu Odigwe is live at City Hall to explain. Mugu. Good morning, Ryan. So we've heard from the Chicago Teachers Union and some parents who say schools are just a very, very scary place to be right now. But this morning, both Dr. Allison Alwardy and the new CPS CEO, uh, Pedro Martinez, they both say schools are safe, but there are some things they need to be, need to improve on, starting with contact tracing, for example. This morning, Martinez says the district is getting closer to having that happen within 48 hours. The district also plans to start reporting all COVID-19 cases daily on its website, not just active cases, but also cases of students who are quarantined. Now, speaking of quarantines, Dr. Already says around 15,000 kids have been quarantined since school started in August. But of those 15,000, only about 200 later had a positive COVID-19 case test, rather, and that's 1.4 percent. Now, we wanted to know when the district will finally be concerned about numbers going up. Where we start to get concerned is where we see evidence of in-school transmission. And we will see some. So you heard me say right up top here, we've not seen to date in CPS or actually any of our schools in Chicago since they've opened this fall, we've not seen any outbreaks, meaning five cases that have been linked in some way. So the district will also start screening testing at all schools every week starting tomorrow. That test is specifically for those people who are asymptomatic. So doing those tests just help them, helps them prevent the spread of COVID-19. They also say so far of all of the people who've been tested when it comes to those screening testings out of one, one rather in 1,000 only came back positive. So again, of all the people tested, one in 1,000 of those screening testings came back positive. We're live outside City Hall, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News. Mugo, thank you.